For centuries now, the cruelest way to punish a household is to introduce an acoustic drum kit into the equation. One of the reasons that I try to promote kindness in this holiday season is to uh, check out electronic drum kits because they're so much more silent eh? and uh, they're pretty much all the principles of acoustic drums apply to an e-drum kit, eh? but without all the hassle and without really wanting to, you know, murder your family once somebody starts playing acoustic drums. So in the spirit of that, I'm gonna check out the Hampback entry level electric drum kit. So this is super, super affordable. I don't think I've ever actually reviewed a kit like this before. So I kind of want to make the distinction between like what a toy is and what like an actual piece of, you know, potentially gateway acoustic drum kit electronic -ing could provide. So I'm just going to kind of get the stuff out of the box here and assemble it and see what we got. Because usually these e-drum kits, even though they're like super, super compact, they come in much, much bigger packages. So this is gonna be interesting. This is actually pretty light and the mesh heads look like this. So super, super light. Uh, let me just kind of take this out of the box, set it up and let's see how this sounds, what the features are, and if this can compare to maybe learning on a, a real drum kit and if it's something you're interested in, let's find out. So all the symbols are individually boxed, it appears. There we go, so they're all rubber. Sound module, very simple setup, we'll check that out. It's kind of crazy, so they even fit like a stool in here too, so it appears to have everything you need. All right, one thing that I already love is the rack is already mostly assembled. And uh, this is metal, which is surprising to me considering the price of this. Uh, again, I've uh, unboxed and kind of demoed like a lot of expensive e-kits and they take legit, like I'm not even exaggerating, like probably two hours to set up correctly. And the fact that this is already assembled is kind of fantastic. So good job on handbag. It comes with headphones, which is key for avoiding the punishment of hearing people badly play drums. So this is one of the ways that you can kind of save money on, and the reason they can make these so inexpensive is having the kick drum pedal and the hi-hat control pedal just be standalone. So you don't actually have uh, like a batter head hitting like a rubberized kick. Actually just stepping on the pedal creates the kick sound for you which some people like, some people don't like. The only downside is, the, the positive is you're still training yourself to actually like hit a kick, a kick pedal. There's a little more nuance to developing a skill of actually using a kick drum pedal and having the batter hit the physical drum. Okay, cool, so here's some hardware. Oh, it's got the sticks. All right, yeah, so it's got sticks, headphones, and a stool. So literally everything you need to get started. That's another pet peeve of mine is like, Something that you can't just plug in and get going with right away. Especially if you're getting this as like a gift or something. I, I remember the first time I got an e-kit, I didn't have everything I needed to actually start playing it. Like I had to go get like a, a cable for it or something. And it really kind of was a downer when putting it together. You want to be able to put it together and then just start playing right out of the box. So let's set it up. All right, I have the kit assembled. Honestly, that was probably the quickest assembly I've ever had for a kit. Took me uh, 25 minutes to kind of get it all squared away, but it was very straightforward. Right now, uh, I just have this going into the output quarter inch into my interface. So I'm listening through it, uh, my, my computer monitors, my studio monitors. And uh, I just want to kind of just go through the presets, talk a little bit about the module, and then use the MIDI function. The MIDI function is always my personal favorite. But uh, this is just going to be the kind of sound you can expect. This is the first preset. All right, so that's one. Uh, basically, there's only... The module is super easy to use. There are five buttons and then a volume uh, knob, rotary knob. One of the buttons is power. The other one goes through the selections of what you can do with it, up and down, and then start and stop. So we'll go through all of them. I just want to go through the 12 kits right now. So we'll go to kit number two. Okay, so that's pretty self-explanatory. A little more. You can also adjust the volume individually. I think I would, I think default, 
I would want to adjust the uh, the low tom a little higher. But honestly, like the responsiveness of the pads are the most impressive thing. Now, there's no differentiation between uh, the snare and the tom pads, so they're all kind of the same. But like, super great. They're not. They have plastic rims which still trigger the drum so it's not like a dual zone situation but again pretty dynamic so this is the fifth kit six seven I, I love this, whatever kit this is. That's, this is like the sickest stock electro kit. That's so cool, 12. That's pretty, that's pretty sick. I, man, I gotta say, kinda sold on this handbag kit so far. I'm having a fun time. I don't know if you can tell, but. Stock, stock sounds are, you know, I feel like they're just kinda mix and match at this point. There's so much good stuff out there. It's really just, you know, how they respond to everything. So let me go handheld real quick, just to show you how the brain module works. So like I said, here it is. Uh, one, you can just go up and down through the regular kits. And then this is the metronome, which you're gonna wanna practice with. Start and stop, uh, power, volume, self-explanatory. So this goes back and forth between the different modes, right? So you press it once and now it goes into tempo. So now these buttons adjust the metronome. Press it again, it goes into rhythm. So now it adjusts the timing, right? So you could, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. You can go all through the, oh, five, four, one, two. Let's see if I can do a five, four groove. There we go, so long press, short press. Uh, and then the last one is a song kind of play along thing, right? So you can press this and then let's go through, uh, what, what, five, one, I guess. Count in. Let's just do it. Oh, jazzy.
and then you can just go up and down. It looks like they have 10 different kind of songs. And then you can adjust the kits through these. Anyways, that's basically the... <laughs> this is the first kit I've played a long time with a separate foot pedal that doesn't actually control uh, the kick pedal. Super responsive. <laughs> it is, it's funny, it messes with my balance because I'm so used to like actual kick and kind of feeling the, the rebound of the kick. So it's an interesting adjustment from, you know, an acoustic kit, just having the pedal. Last thing I want to do is actually just hook this up to uh, my computer via MIDI and see how it responds. But so far, man, this is like a, this is a pretty impressive kit for the amount of money and the amount of space, the footprint that it takes up. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but it might look like I'm cramped, but again, you can like, you know, kind of adjust this. The height of it is the only thing, again, so I'm 6'1", so I am, <laughs> You know, it's, I mean, I don't know, this is probably as high as I can get it, eh? and it's not so bad, actually, but if you are, you know, freakishly tall, might be a problem, but, uh, I don't know, set up pretty well. Let's hook it up to MIDI and see what it sounds like with some samples. Oh, last thing I want to do, this is what it's going to sound like volume-wise without any output, so like how it would sound if you're wearing headphones. So... Even if you're kind of playing, it still makes sound, right? But I feel like that's like just, you know, the speaking volume of whatever. I think it still sounds pretty good. All right, so I had to move the kit back closer to my computer because I don't have a USB cable to reach that long. So now I have this hooked up uh, into Native Instruments battery, just a battery kit. And uh, yeah, this, um, Awesome, right? So I'm just gonna kind of jam around a little bit, make some music with it, and uh, see what we got. Thank you so much to Handback for sponsoring the video, sending the kit over. I will have a link in the description if you guys are interested in this. Uh, but yeah, it works. Super small footprint. If you're, not, if you're in a tight space, this could be the kit for you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I'll see you in the next video.